My name is Miss Guest and I am one of the teachers here at HLL Nanu. I'm an early years teacher and I teach K1, which is one of the youngest groups of children in the school. I feel like I have one of the most privileged jobs here because my day is constantly filled with magic and exploration. How a Little Lion prides itself on being a place where children can learn through play and exploration of their natural environment. When you take the time to engage with and observe children, it is clear to see that they learn in different ways. When planning and supporting children, we think it's important to consider the different ways that children learn. Continuous provision time is a time daily where children are allowed to explore their natural environment and use their own interests to guide their play. The experiences that are put out by adults are informed by our planning children can then access independently. For example, this week we were talking about symmetry as a lesson and now children have the experience to use symmetry in their own play. In order to perfect the skill, children need time to repeat actions and play with things they know and enjoy. Children can naturally sustain this play and develop ideas and themes which they continue over a period of time. Dressing up and role play areas are a firm favourite for this at Harrow Nanning. Children have been archaeologists during their dinosaurs topic, they have been fairies whilst learning about dragons and fairies, and their play has been increasingly informed by books and stories. As children in the early years, they take this knowledge and combine it with a growing imagination to come up with fantastic ideas about why and how things happen. Pretend play lets children try out new roles for themselves, like superheroes, princesses, dinosaurs and even role-playing their own parents. This allows for creative problem solving, but it also helps them to deal with another hurdle of early education, intense emotions. Through role play, children are able to understand their emotions and act this out, which allows them to then build confidence to become more resilient with how they are feeling. In the early years, art activities are a fantastic way for children to express themselves. We focus on process rather than product, which allows children to build skills which they can use time and time again. During our Dragons and Fairies topic, the children thoroughly enjoyed splattering and mixing colours on the fabric to represent their own idea of what a dragon looks like. This dragon is now an integral part of the classroom, hanging from the ceiling for the children to look at with pride every day. Children in the early years are developing and building their vocabulary. This helps them to make sense of the world around them. We as teachers are here to support and model to the children and help them with this process. Children who are supported in the early years grow up to be lifelong, independent and confident learners and I feel like it is a great honour to be part of this.